Hello Daz Patrons! Welcome back to my tutorial series. My name is Not From This World and I want to welcome you to the world of Daz Studio. All right, well today I wanted to talk about another topic that comes up in my comments quite a bit, and that is how do I render when I have a simpler computer? Not all of us can afford a top of the line gaming computer. You know, one of these with a graphics card of 4070 or 5070 that's just coming out. We don't have thousands of dollars to spend on these computers. And I have to admit, you know, I started out with a really basic laptop and I was still able to use iRay. Granted, I couldn't do the stuff that I do now because of the limitations of that computer, but I don't want your simple computer to let you down and not use Daz Studio. So I'm gonna give you four tips that I would use if I had a more simple computer with perhaps a graphics card of a 1070 or something like that so that you can continue to enjoy Daz Studio and not give up. Okay, so my first tip is to kiss your scene. Keep it simple, silly. Don't go overboard. If you have a graphics card that is pretty basic, the last thing you really wanna do is make a scene like I'm showing you here with Milica. Now, I think you're gonna recognize this scene from a video I made a month ago or so, where I was talking about how I couldn't really move my character very well, and Honestly, the reason for this is all of these flowers, all of the background. This looks kind of simple, but I've got to tell you, each one of those flowers, although it looks outstanding, it looks like Milika's just hanging out in a nice field of flowers, this thing is eating memory. And so it's making it hard to move my character, to move around the scene. We want to keep it simple. And so I just say, kiss it, keep it simple, silly. Don't add a lot of props, characters, that kind of thing, if you are using a computer that can't handle it. So you can use a computer like a laptop with a graphics card of 1070 if you just keep things a little more simple. So I would have to rethink this picture and not add all those flowers. So you wanna just keep things simple. One character, simple background, and you can really create a nice render just with a minimal amount of objects in your scene. The next tip I have, tip number two, is to use your render settings. So I have noticed, and I have a video on this if you are interested in kind of watching it, but I have noticed that we can drop our render quality without really giving up a lot of quality in the scene. So it is defaulted to one, as you can see here, and I would not go any higher than that with a simpler computer. I would definitely knock it down. You could probably knock it down to 0.8 or even 0.6 and it's gonna help your render speeds and you won't give up a lot for that. So the render quality, I would drop down a little bit. You can also set your max time and keep that a little bit higher if you don't mind longer renders. If you want shorter renders, you wanna adjust this. So you need to play with your render settings a little bit and make sure that you have it set up the best you can for your computer. Now again, I've got a video on that if you are interested. Okay, tip number three, use the denoiser in the render settings. And I know this is a little controversial, some of you hate the denoiser, but if you have a more basic graphics card, you wanna use the denoiser 
as long as your computer can keep rendering with the GPU. The big problem with your denoiser is it will drop off if your computer goes down to the CPU. So if, if you have a simple scene set up, you can set up this denoiser and get great results because it's gonna soften your picture and you can cut down the time it takes to render. So remember with the denoiser, I've showed this numerous times, but to work on the denoiser, you're gonna turn your render quality enable off. You're going to adjust the max samples to something like a thousand, maybe even less if you want a shorter render. Your max time doesn't matter. And then remember, you just scroll down to where it's purple, change your Gaussian to Lanzos, which just kind of helps keep things sharp and not so soft. But then on your post denoiser, just turn that on, turn your enable on, and then set your start iteration for the same amount of time that you have your max samples. And so what it's gonna do when you render is it's only, only going to render to the thousand iterations and then it just stops. But if you put your start iteration on the denoiser at the same number, it will soften before it ends that scene. So you'll get a nice render that hopefully doesn't take a lot of time. The key to this is the denoiser never works if you drop to CPU. You still have to be using your GPU. So if you have a simple render, this is a great tip. Tip number four is light up your scene. The more you darken your scene, the harder it is for your GPU to render it. So you wanna light up your scene. Use lots of lights. I use spotlights often in this case. On this particular scene, I am using, instead of spotlights, I am using this option that we have in the render settings under environment. And I have this sun and sky set up because this is an outdoor scene. Play around with this, but if you need to, just go back and add your three spotlights, get them nice and bright, and render bright scenes. The more you render dark, the harder it is on your system. These are my tips, and I would love to hear from my patrons if you have other tips that you use. Maybe you have a computer that's like a 1070. I know that one of the big things I had to do when I was using my laptop instead of this desktop is I had to be patient. You know, I created an entire comic that had huge detail, it had multiple characters, and it would take 12 hours to render a scene. And I would just set it up, go to bed, wake up in the morning, set up a new scene before I went to work, render it the whole time I was at work. And I made a comic, I am not joking, of 600 pages this way. And it's actually my best selling comic that I have created. I can't show it to you or show anything about it because it is a not safe for work production. But I'm telling you, if you're patient, you can do this. And uh, my little 1070 computer was able to render an iRay just fine. It just took forever. So if you don't have a computer like mine that I've built up over the last three years, just be patient. Follow these tips and I think you'll be pleased. I don't want cost to really dictate that you drop out of this hobby because if you do it right and you're just patient, I know it's frustrating sometimes not to get the render done quickly or have a problem where you have trouble moving characters and that kind of thing. But just be patient and it really pays off. I've made more money than I ever thought I would with this hobby because of being patient 
And then I was able to use that money that I've earned to upgrade my system. This is how I have the desktop I have now with 64 gigs of RAM, a four terabyte hard drive. And now I've just upgraded to this 4070 graphics card with 16 gigs of VRAM. I've worked up to it. You know, it's taken time. So don't be discouraged if you have a simpler computer. You can still get things done. You just have to follow these tips. Hey, if you have tips, let me know. I'd love to read all about your suggestions. I will update this video. I'll make a new one to help people. That's my goal is helping people keep using Daz, not give up on it. Don't fall back to that uncreative AI. Keep working in Daz. Make your scenes beautiful. And I think you're going to be happy. So until next time, take care, render, enjoy it. My like and subscribe buttons. And don't forget to comment. All right, until next time, have a safe weekend. See you later.